Teddy Arbro donated dozens of pictures and World War II artifacts to the Smithsonian National Museum of African American History and Culture in Washington, D.C. Mrs. Yarbro is this week's bright spot. This sitting room in Hattie Yarbrough's home is what she calls organized chaos. She's been keeping pictures, magazines, and pieces of black culture since she was a young girl. I promised myself that would never be a Negro child. We were the colored children. Grow up around me that did not know that we had contributed to the making of every bit of history. Before she spent decades teaching and coaching students in Covington and surrounding counties, she worked at Camp Tyson outside Paris, Tennessee. It was the 1930s, and that's where she met many black soldiers and started her scrapbook. When I would see soldiers on troop trains, those who came to our churches in Paris, those who visited in our homes, uh, wherever. She listened to their stories and collected their information, things like where they were from and where they served. These are men who were stationed at Camp Tyson. They would give me these patches. For years, the scrapbook was hidden in Mrs. Yarbrough's attic. Today, many of the pictures and articles in it are in Washington, D.C. at the National Museum of African American History and Culture. I did not only just send my, my World War II memorabilia, I sent it like that picture of Vernon, Axo founder. I sent those kind of things. I had lam laminated copies of things from personalities in Memphis who had contributed to the history mm -hmm. of America. I sent those kind of things. I just sent worlds of material. And they kept everything she sent. How pleased are you that you were able to save and to keep that history and now it's going thankful. to be shared? Thankful. Most thankful. Because that I have lived a lifetime wanting people to know uh, that we are somebody too. In September, Mrs. Yarbrough made the trip to our nation's capital for the dedication and opening of the museum. It was, it was like, am I dreaming this or is this real? At 95 years young, Mrs. Yarbrough still remembers why she started a career in education. Every child that I ever taught, they walked tall, most of them. And they would say, if it had not been for Miss Thomas, Miss Yarbo, those who, when I became there, uh, we would have missed knowing who we are. And now with the museum and contributors like Mrs. Yarbo, everyone can know and appreciate our rich history and culture. And she was just a delight to meet. If you have an idea for Bright Spot, send me an email, a tweet, or a message on Facebook. After the camera stopped rolling, did you just like sit there on the couch and just soak all that we knowledge up for with her. hours? She insisted, I'm going to post them. She insisted that our, our photographer, Ramon Johnson, and I take selfies with her. And Ramon was like, no, I want to take a picture with you. She's like, well, you can, but we've got to get this selfie first. <laughs> <laughs> and she is 95 years young. Yeah. Wow. She gets you out tell every it. single yeah. day. I mean, and when I tell you, Mrs. Young, Barbara was a delight. She was an absolute delight. And a wealth of knowledge as yes. well. Yes. Like, She's literally a walking history book. She has so many pictures and artifacts mm -hmm. and different things that she's collected and she was surprised that I remembered when Ebony was a big book <laughs> and not the little magazine yeah. and she had some of those and yeah. it was just fantastic. And so. it's so exciting that some of her artifacts are now yes, at the Yes, they are museum. there throughout the museum. Fantastic. Thanks, Marco. Thank you, Todd. All right. Outside right now, we are continuing to keep an eye on a cold front working its way through the area.